Good afternoon, your local weather authority meteorologist Adam Sherwinski. 81 degrees on the Pontiac RV camera looking at Pontiac. A little bit of hazy skies out there, but overall beautiful conditions. Lots of sunshine, lots of warm weather here. A great start really to the 4th of July weekend here. And the 4th is tomorrow. High pressure really in charge of the weather from all the way in Kansas out towards all well, the Appalachian Mountains. And we're right in the middle here in Peoria. So beautiful weather just across the entire region. This is the weekend to get out and enjoy it while you can, especially since we had all the rain the last couple of weeks beforehand. 80 in Bloomington, 81 in Pontiac, and 82 in Peoria. So overall warm weather here. The warm temperatures are going to continue, and we're going to see a warm up even as early as tomorrow. I'll have more details on what to expect coming up. But first, WMBD News at stick, uh, 6 starts right now. Tonight at 6, a statue unveiling that is honoring female pilots in Peoria. See the dedication ceremony and hear what a local representative has to say about inclusivity. And fireworks light up the sky and bring loud noises with them, but it's triggering for people suffering from PTSD. See the advice from health experts for the 4th of July. But first, 150 people in Hopedale running five miles in memory of a fallen veteran today. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Durante Matthews. Janie Bowman has the night off. Well, today is the fifth annual Major Reed Nannan Memorial 5K run. Our own Nina McFarland shows us how the community came together to honor Nannan's memory. A 5K race in memory of a Hopedale veteran. Reed Nannan. Went to Olympia High School and, um, you know, was a community person here. Him, his family still lives here. And unfortunately, he was, ki he, he was killed on March 1st you know, in 2014, I believe, uh, in a plane crash at Top Gun in Nevada. But the organizer says Nannan's memory will forever live on, saying the amount of people that came out on Saturday proves just that. We probably had close to uh, six, seven hundred people out here this morning, which is absolutely awesome. And one of those participants was World War II veteran Stuart Rook, the 96 year old walking one mile for his good friend. Oh, I finished. <laughs> and with his family right by his side. Well, the special thing was walking with four generations. Uh, there's my daughter and my uh, grandson and uh, two, two little boys that ran. And uh, that was that was great. The Rook family, along with the community, paying tribute to the man who gave the ultimate sacrifice for his country. In Hopedale, Nina McFarlane, WMBD News. Well, the Boys and Girls Club of Peoria hosting a free walk-in COVID-19 vaccination clinic today. The clinic opens to ages 12 and up and offering all three COVID-19 vaccines, Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson. The program's coordinator for the Boys and Girls Club says it's important to be able to host the clinic for members of the community who may not have transportation so they would have the opportunity to receive the vaccine. She says she also hopes younger people will get vaccinated to be protected against new variants. We do want to try to get as many 12 and older kids vaccinated as possible with parent consent as well. Also, we will be giving out a few bikes to the first couple of uh, 12 and older kids that come with their parents to get vaccinated. Another vaccination clinic open to ages 12 and up will be held on Wednesday, July 7th at, UF, at UFS on Southwest Adams Street. The Peoria County Veterans Memorial Committee hosting a dedication ceremony today for the final piece of a final salute memorial outside of the Peoria County Courthouse. Local soldiers unveiled a statue honoring the first female fighter pilots. The memorial as a whole honors the thousands of Peoria County veterans that have served since World War II. United States Senator and veteran combat pilot Tammy Duckworth was a keynote speaker at the unveiling. She says she hopes the statue will show young girls they too can become pilots if they wish. When I was going through flight school, um, the flight instructor said to me, uh, can you get more women to apply? Because women oftentimes make better natural pilots, but they don't apply. So I want little girls who come up to see just as little boys do and say, I want to be a soldier or something. I want little girls to say, yeah, and I want to be a helicopter pilot. Senator Duckworth added she believes the diversity of the United States is important in the military and all people should be represented. 
Well, people in Eureka celebrating the 4th of July early, the parade making a comeback after last year's festivities came to a halt during the pandemic. The lineup began bright and early at the Eureka Apostolic Christian Church and proceeded for five blocks. The, organi the organizer says planning for the parade this year wasn't too hard because community members were eager to have events like these back on. She also says it's the event that kicks off the 4th of July weekend. The parade today was perfect. Uh, perfect weather for it. It wasn't too, wasn't too awfully hot. We had a, we had a large, large turnout. Um, we actually had no, we had no hiccups at all. It was a perfect day for a parade. She also says after watching today's turnout, she's excited to start planning other events for the community. And the 4th of July holiday is largely known for fireworks shows and loud parades. However, some people begin their celebrations early and they continue throughout the month of July. Medical experts say because of the loud and flashy displays, this time of year can be difficult for many military veterans as the loud booms of the fireworks can be very triggering for those who may be suffering from PTSD. They say if there are veterans living in your neighborhood, it's best to let them know if you'll be setting off fireworks so it doesn't catch them off guard. You know, be aware of when the fireworks shows are going to be happening in your neighborhood and try to keep your firework and entertainment to that um, and let anybody that you know that's a veteran know um, that that's what time you're going to be doing something so they can be basically um, prepared. And according to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, 11 to 20 out of every 100 veterans experience some form of PTSD. Well, welcoming back the crowds, one of Peoria County's oldest comedy clubs is opening, and opening its doors for the weekend again. The Jukebox Comedy Club is coming back from an eight-month weekend closure, and the owner, Dan Conlon, says when the lights came on, he wanted to give the audience the laughs they've come to expect over the past 30 years. Owner Dan Conlin says the pandemic threw his world and his business for a loop last year when he decided to close. Conlin says this is the club's first weekend show since the end of October and says his emotions are all over the place. I'm reopening with nothing in the bank, so let's see how we do. It's exciting, isn't it, to have nothing and then whatever you take in propels you forward. It's also scary. And it's exciting and scary, but uh, the shows are going to be great. Now, Colin says he still doesn't know exactly what the future holds for the jukebox, but for now, he says he's hoping to keep getting the word out and filling up the seats like old times. You can head over to our website, ciproud.com, to see the full story. Well, coming up, traveling for the 4th of July, when experts say is the best time to hit the road. And for the holiday weekend, temperatures are warm, but they're going to be even warmer for tomorrow. We're going to see the warm temperatures stay through next week. I'll have more details on what to expect for the 4th of July and beyond coming up in just a bit.